me give you a little hand setting up your AutoCAD. You'll notice over here, uh, my workspace, when I click on the three little dots over here, uh, I turn on my dynamic, I turn off isometric, and I turn on workspace setting. All these other ones down here are off. I also right click out in the space and go to my options. I like a light theme and I like my color background to be white. So I do I do best with that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a drawing um, so that I can get my title block. Here they are on, under desktop. And I know I've got a B sheet in here. So that's one that I can use. And I just open it up. And I just I just have it sitting there. So there's a few ways that I can get this into my other drawing. Let me go to the drawing I'm going to be working with. First of all, I know that I want this to um, on my layout. I want it to be where is it? Page setup manager. There it is, and I'm going to modify it. And um, I want it to be an 11 by 17. So that's an ANSI size B. And I can just use my CAD to PDF plotter. I usually just stick with a CAD CTB, and that usually does a good job for me. And I know I'm not going to want my viewport. So let's see. CAD to PDF gives me kind of a big thing here. So let's see if that's going to fit or if I need something new. Okay, so I'm going to copy. Whoops. Copy the title block itself, right click, clipboard, copy, and go see if I can get it to fit on here. What did I do? I did that in the wrong one. All right, so let me do this again. I was in the wrong model when I did that. No, I wasn't. Here we go. Right click, clipboard. Paste is a block, and I'll show you why I want it to be a block. So look, um, that works because I get all this stuff. Isn't that great? I can just go in and type in when I type it as paste it as a block. So I can see that my plot page size is not correct. So when I come back to my page setup manager, I think that's called full bleed. And so I need to find one that says full bleed. Uh, either that or I need to um, I need to do um, a window which I can do but my paper is not set up right so I need to probably do um, Adobe PDF with 11 by 17 let's see what it looks like now that's gonna fit now notice it's a little bit too low that's just an offset so i can either move it i can either move this whole thing or i can do an offset it's easier just to move it and you can set that up so that's how you would get this set up and ready to go for your autocad now you guys remember from the last time that if I go to layout and I do a base view, I can go get that from Inventor. And it'll think for a few moments. And we'll go find that thing. And it's the reducer module. There it is. This is maybe not quite so easy as it was in um, in Inventor, but it'll be pretty close. So I'm going to place that, and I'm going to choose that, and then uh, then I'm done. Oops, see, I always do that. I hit the wrong the wrong button there. So let's go back and get that one again. I didn't I didn't hit Enter properly. 
There we go. Now, I can make a section view as I did before. Section of that. And I'm going to place it. Right click, enter, and I'll go place it over to the side. I always like to click the green box. And now this is a projected view of this. There we go. There. That's how I've got those. And again, with this, I want to go ahead and... And you can arrange it on here as you want. And I talked about what that's like before and putting your dimensions on and all that other kind of stuff. Now when we go into annotate, see, it doesn't do the bill of materials and everything for you. So you sort of need to, well, there's one down here that you can use. Okay, but you have to do an explode and some other things. So um, th this isn't really the one we want to use. Okay, so in this case, you're going to need to make it from a table. Uh, it does not auto balloon for you, so you have to multi leader and just put the letters in. Don't worry about the balloons for now. If you know how to make, you know how to change this to a balloon style, you can. You can make a new balloon. Can you? Da -da -dum. Leader structure, that's all okay. And then the content uh, somewhere in here. Oh, here's the symbol. Um, and somewhere I can do a symbol of a circle. No, that's for the leader. Structure, content. Here it is right here. I can do a block. And there are, are different ones that I can do. So there's like a circle with a tag number. That's probably the one that you want. So now if I do my leaders, one, see how that works? So you can do that, and that's a nice way of going about it. Um, your revision block needs to be a table. Your bill of materials needs to be a table. Uh, so those are the main differences. In AutoCAD, it's, a, it's not quite so tied together for you. You do have to do a little bit of extra work. So all of the rest of it applies. And then in our next video, we'll go back to the inventor and we'll talk about what makes something a good assembly drawing.